Uh, good evening. Um, today's date is uh, Sunday, August 24th, 2014. I'm here in my home and studio workspace in Edinburgh, Texas with my co-host, Kitty Mama. <laughs> well, she said she wasn't very interested in today's project, so she's bugging off. Okay, uh, anyhow, um, what I wanted to show you today, I'm not even sure I'm gonna show you guys this. This very well may be um, a video that I make for myself, uh, just kind of as a, you know, as a sketchbook kind of thing. It, yes, this is my sketchbook, but also I'm thinking, you know, I'm just trying to get some ideas together and they may or may not make sense, but I got to do it anyway. Um, so I had this idea last night. I, th this is one of many sketchbooks. I, I try to always keep a sketchbook going and I got to admit, you know, sometimes um, I'm better at staying connected with it than, than others. You know, I, I really believe uh, for an artist in the um, value of a daily drawing practice, um, even if it's only for a few minutes. And uh, when I'm teaching drawing, it's certainly something I, I preach. Uh, but I haven't taught drawing in a year. Um, and I got really focused on, you know, digital stuff and um, some found object stuff that I'm still working on. Uh, you know, I just, I just had photography, you know, I just had too many things going on. Um, and I kind of got away from my, from my drawing and it, it, in, including just even, you know, the, the joy that I take in, in drawing these, um, y you know, these, I don't know what I want to call them. Uh, y you know, I, I guess if anybody just looked at them, they'd say, okay, it's a, a doodle. Uh, I, I think of them more as automatic drawings. Um, you know, I, I do think there's something there uh, in, in these, like, yes, they're not, uh, you know, pre-planned. Uh, I, I feel like, you know, in the uh, um, tradition of the surrealists and, you know, the abstract expressionists, um, you know, just that, that to me these kind of suggest um, the, the, you know, unconscious or subconscious or, or you know, inner mind or, or, or whatever, because since I'm not really thinking when I do these, um, I'm just kind of, you know, doing what I feel like. I mean, it, I really do take on like a very automatic um, attitude, um, but I keep seeing these recurrent motifs. I think we all see that in uh, the, the, you know, the stuff that we draw. Um, and, you know, I've just, I've got these, uh, these attitudes about the sketchbook, you know, one of which I have to say, you know, I, I believe that the sketchbook is um, sacred uh, in some ways, you, you know, just b because I, I think that it can be the most absolute personal um, realm that an artist can have. You know, a lot of things that happen in the sketchbook stay in the sketchbook. Uh, and, and a lot of things that happen in the sketchbook at some point in time end up in you know, some art that is displayed publicly, um, sometimes not, but you know, I have always found it fascinating to look at artists' drawings, you know, the stuff that they did when they were just drawing. Uh, um, you know, whether they're planning something or, you know, being kind of uh, automatic, you know, if you wanna use it, which is kind of a fancy word for doodling, I suppose, um, automatic, uh, then that's, you know, what they, what they do. But I've always, always believed that drawing is the absolute most uh, truthful and honest and sincere um, art form, uh, visual art form that there, that there is uh, because there's very little between the artist and the surface. It's, it's you know, nothing's going through a machine here. It's, it's your, your brain, your eye, and your hand, the paper, and whatever you're drawing with. Um, and when you're not thinking about what you're doing, you're not conceiving of anything. You're being absolutely 100%, 1000% truthful and honest. You know, so to, to me, these things are the truth um, of what's going on in, um, in my mind. Uh, and that might be kind of scary to look at, but you know, the, the thing that's interesting is I've been drawing stuff, you know, I've been, I've been doing stuff like this for years and years. 
Um, and what I find interesting is the recurring motifs. Uh, you, you know, that I, I'm always doing swirls, spirals. You know, sometimes they're black holes or whatever. Sometimes they're tornadoes, hurricanes. Um, you know, I don't really know. I, I, I don't really think about it all that much, you know, but uh, I, they're, they're always very, very organic for the most part. Usually they're done with a very kind of, you know, gestural, um, expressive hand. Uh, and, you know, I, I just kind of look at them and I just let my mind kind of tell me what, what, what I want to do with it. Um, but I try to create little games for myself, I guess. Um, I, I try to create like little rules or, um, you know, criteria that I have to stick with, um, just, just, just to kind of, you know, li limitations are actually liberating. Um, you, you know, if, if, if you, you've got that blank page and like, oh my God, I don't know what to do, you know, and, and you want to have something to work with, something to get started from, um, you, you know, I kind of take like whatever's on that page, which a lot of the time might be like some notes that I've made. You know, sometimes there's actual drawings. You know, these are, this is a drawing that I did um, when I was in Barcelona. This is, uh, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but, but it's the, the big park with all the uh, Antonio Gaudi architecture. Um, you, you know, all these pencil drawings that you see in here, I, I did in, I think this was 2011 or 2012. All of these are, you know, from, from, from Barcelona. Um, and some of them, this is an older one here, some of them did, you know, kind of turn into something. Um, some of them didn't, but, you know, and, and then I also use my sketchbook because it's kind of like, it's a journal and it's a notepad and it's a, you know, a, a record of, you know, what, whatever I've been working on or, you know, sometimes it's a shopping list, sometimes it's ideas for something. I mean, um, you know, sometimes it's something very mundane, um, you, you know, just like, uh, I don't know, a budget or just, you know, or a to-do list, you know, a lot of times the to-do lists uh, show up in there. Um, and then what I like to do, of course, is draw into or over whatever is existing. Um, you, you know, what may very well be existing is some text, uh, but a lot of time what's existing is something that I can see through from the other side, whether it's because of the transparency of the paper um, or, um, y you know, just, it, um, and what I'm thinking about, impressions coming through from the, 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 the pen or the pencil. Um, and, and so what happens is I think these start to take on kind of a very organic um, quality. Let, let me kind of flip through, because if, you, if you'll notice, okay, this, 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 hello. They're all pretty much the same composition. You know, they've already all got the little small circle with the larger circles kind of spiraling outward. Um, you know, some of them have a kind of an arc coming across here. Um, you know, and then what happens is they kind of go into their own little little thing. You know, this will probably sh this probably came from something else or will show up in something else. And so, you, you know, I've kind of almost got like a mirror image. If this if this one I did because I was looking at this one, or maybe I did this one because, you know, this one was showing through, I really can't remember. Or I might have just done it because of the, uh, you know, pressure that I put on the paper with, with, with this one. But, you know, here's another one that's just kind of got that same idea. But, you know, every time I'm working on them, uh, it's something a little different. You can see here I kind of got geometric and, and, and decorative with it. Uh, here I was a lot more um, fluid, uh, gestural. Uh, ex expressive, um, you know, here I kind of started to slow down a little bit. And what I like to do with these is, is generally I like to start with something really gestural and loose because to, to approach it any other way, I think would kind of, um, you know, go against the whole idea of, of the automatic drawing. But then if something starts to emerge that I'm not expecting, you know, and that's kind of the fun. It's like, what's going to come out of this? What's going to appear? And, you know, Again, the thing that just never ceases to surprise me is the thing that is going to appear has appeared before and before and before and before. I mean, I can see this in work that I did, you know, as an undergrad, you know, in, in, in artwork and just in my, in my sketches. So, um, you know, I think it's kind of fun to look at these in terms of seeing how they 
how they progress. And then, of course, we've got you know an interruption here because I actually did a, a drawing at some time ago here, and I don't know if that one translated to anything else. I, yeah, I, I didn't. I, I was working kind of reductively. Uh, just I just had a pencil and an eraser, and I was just kind of you know gesture sketching, scribbling in uh, things that I saw, and then lifting out um, uh, with the with the um, with the eraser. Um, this one, I think, well, there you can still see that circle coming through from there. Um, and this, I think I actually drew, I, did, I didn't, I think I was actually just kind of mimicking that. I can't quite remember. Um, but, you know, here, here it comes uh, again. Let's see, I don't know where that came from. Uh, so, some of these things uh, kind of just start independently. Like here's, here's a page, I just, I was taking some notes. Uh, started making some of my typical little, you know, decorative geometric Googles here, do, doodles here, whatever. Um, you know, I had a kind of a figure that I sketched when I was bored in a meeting the other day, and uh, I didn't like the looks of it, so it's like, well, I'll just kind of draw into it, draw over it, draw around it, and, you know, you know these, these swirly, what are they? Is it gas? Is it vapor? Is it fire? I don't know. You know, but it's starting to kind of en envelop it, and, and and my, you know, ever since I first started doing kind of expressionistic drawings, uh, which which, you know, I must say, it, as as it do, it might not look like it, but it was actually a struggle for me to learn to work this loosely because, um, you know, my original training I was like very very tight, um, you know, very uh, illustrative. I you know I started out as in graphic design. Um, and the only way I knew how to draw was like super tight, super precise. And, uh, you know, I didn't understand the concept of abstraction um, or non-representation. Um, and I, I really had to work to break through that, that desire to draw tight. Uh, and I think I just worked through, I worked so hard at it that I think, you know, I just naturally evolved into like a very, 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 um, ex expressionistic and gestural drawer and uh, you know bless my poor drawing students because you know I, I preach the gesture uh, like constantly and I know they get tired of hearing it but tough that's how important I think it is so anyway um, I kind of like this drawing here you know that's some birds I drew when I was in Barcelona uh, I know they're it's not particularly interesting to anybody else, but there is something, I don't know what, but there's something that I'm really, you know, responding to about these two little birds. Um, I certainly didn't think it was worth anything at the time, but, you know, it's interesting to kind of come back to something you did three years ago, four years ago, however long, I think it was three years ago, um, and go, oh, something I thought I did that really sucked. You know, there's something to it. Uh, here's another drawing from that same garden. I wish I could remember what it was called. I spent two just fabulous days roaming around this place. Park, it, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's Park, and then it's spelled G-R-U-E-L-L. -L. I, you know, I'm not even gonna embarrass myself by trying to, um, by trying to pronounce it, but I was very, very inspired by Gaudi's work, and one of the things I think I like about Gaudi is the organic quality of his work. Um, you, you know, it, it just, it just completely and totally appeals to me because I have organic tendencies, you know, when, when left to my own devices. So, you know, where did this come from? I'm seeing this circle here, and I saw it here. See? Something's happening there. Where did that come? Because sometimes I start out on, a, on another page. I think ha what happened is this. This is something that I did um, while I was in Barcelona. I can tell just from the materials I was using and the... And the uh, you know, style and everything, and I guess whatever it was, I got frustrated with it and then started just kind of doing an automatic drawing over top of it, and I've got this thing that looks kind of like a tube, a, a larva, I don't know what this is, you, you know, but I, I always have these like, you know, maybe it's intestines, I don't know, but I always have, whenever I see an opening, I'm like, okay, well, there's got to be something coming out of that opening or going into it, and I, and I like to make things that seem to be kind of bursting out of, of holes. Um, and then I've got a couple of pear holes here, which, you know, of course we immediately go, okay, they're eye-like. You know, we can't look at two, um, you know, circular forms like this 
uh, side by side and uh, you know not see eyes because I think you know kind of psychologically we're conditioned to uh, to, to recognize that as a facial pattern. Um, so these two forms kind of became eyes over on this side. You know, it started to become a face kind of somewhere between an owl and a human. And I, as you can see, I think I kind of lost interest in this one. I am going to go back at some point because my goal is for every single page in this book to be rich. Y y you know, just like the, the, the ones that I think are already, you know, I don't think I need to do anything to that. Um, this one, I just can't wait to sink my teeth back into. I really started having fun with this area here. Um, last last night, but I, I want them to just be rich, to just be dense. I love texture, and one of the things that's really cool that happens when you really, really, really work in a sketchbook um, with pen or pencil, you know, something that's you know got a hard edge, um, the paper just gets all, you know, texture. It just gets all kind of marked up, and you know, the the heaviness of your hand or whatever. Sorry, if my feet keep appearing here. I'm I'm trying to keep comfortable. I'm sitting here on the floor. It seems to be my best way to, to, to work. But so, you, you know, what my ideas are, and this is something that just kind of came to me while I was doing this automatic drawing uh, the, the other night, um, is, is I, I thought, you know, I've been, I've, for, for years I've been trying to think of what can I do with my sketchbook to turn it into some kind of art that's actually out there. You, you know, because this, this is the personal space, this is the anything goes, I don't have to worry about being judged. Um, and, and so for me, there's something very, very revealing, um, you know, almost naked in a way. You know, if, if, if you take your sketchbook and put it out there for people to see, um, you know, you may very well be sharing some very per private or personal secrets, not that, you know, not literally, but, um, you know, on, on some level. Um, and but I've, but I've always just thought, you know, I'm fascinated with that. I'm fascinated with the whole idea of the private versus the public um, in, in art making. Um, you know, what, what do we do for ourselves and, and what um, do we permit others to see and, and how much of that are we going to let them in? You, you know, because I think showing your sketchbook is pretty much just like burying your soul. Um, you know, this is supposed to be the no judgment zone. And, you know, in order for no judgment to happen, no other eyes but the artist's own a lot of times should be on that, unless the artist says, hey, I want you to look at this sketch. Um, it's almost like a diary, I guess, you know, a journal or, or something like that. But, but I was trying to think of the ways that I could take these, because I, I, I love these little drawings, especially, you know, like when they're put together, you know, and I've got a series of them, and I see how they inform one another. Um, and, and I see how they kind of organically create, you know, from, from this one, comes whatever's going on in this one. You know, here you can see again, this kind of spiral thing is, is picking up. Um, and so a couple years ago, I thought, well, these are such cool drawings and I like the texture and I want to make these something that I could hang on the wall. And I took them out of the sketchbook and um, I, I put some, I, I dipped them in encaustic medium and, and it gave them this really cool texture. And, you know, I still regarded them as like these, these beautiful objects, but I just, they weren't satisfying me. They were, they were too beautiful and not beautiful enough, if that makes any sense. And, and I'm just like, no, that's not the right thing. I think I did something wrong um, by tearing those images out of the sketchbook. The sketchbook is, in, again, in my opinion, a sacred realm. And uh, by tearing out pages, uh, and I'll show you those. I think I'm going to have to show you since I started talking about it. Uh, by tearing out pages of them, um, I've kind of violated, you know, what the, what the sketchbook is. And so, you know, I just got to thinking, well, what are some other ways that, um, y you know, I could approach making something that could go public, um, y you know, that, that could kind of suggest this idea of the, the, the personal realm versus the private realm and, I mean, versus the public realm and, um, you know, where these two things meet, where these two things interact. Um, and, and I got to thinking, well, you know, since I've kind of gotten interested in video, um, I, I use, if I do make this public, you know, this is uh, kind of going to go in line along with those stupid little videos I've been making all summer. Um, but I don't really, I'm not, I'm actually for the first time being a little bit serious here. Um, you know, I'm really thinking, hmm, video with the sketchbook. 
Uh, and, and one of the things I got to thinking was wouldn't it be cool to, um, you know, do some kind of time-lapse photography thing like just, you know, keep photographing these things every day or something and, and uh, seeing how they evolve. Uh, I know it's not like that hasn't been done before, I'm, 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 so don't tell me that because I already know. Uh, but it's just, it's just kind of starting me in a direction, you know, how can I take a, a still image, um, which to me is a documentation of a moment, of an event, this is a documentation of whatever I was thinking or whatever I was doing, looking at the back of some person, I'm always drawing the backs of people's heads because I don't want them to know they're staring at me. I don't want them to know I'm staring at them. Um, but it's really cool the way they evolve. And every time you add something to it, you've changed it. And so I'm thinking, well, maybe I could start photographing these. And that's what I was going to sit down tonight and do. And I was just like, no, I'm too lazy. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't really want to like get my camera set up and, and do something tight until I, I know what I'm doing and until I think it's worth putting the energy into. So that's why I'm just doing the iPhone video thing uh, again for the, for the moment because uh, it's still in sketch phase. You know, it's still in the developmental phase, the, the, the very, very developmental phase. But uh, so my goal with this particular book is, you know, I keep all my sketchbooks um, and, and my goal is for every sketchbook, I want every page to be filled so that, you know, you can just turn through it and there's just something cool happening on every page, you know, it becomes kind of an art book or whatever. Um, and I'll usually, for one reason or another, I'll get distracted or frustrated and I, I won't finish using a sketchbook and I'll like, oh, I took too many grocery lists on there or whatever and the creativity's gone uh, and I'll start a fresh one. And so I've got all these like half finished sketchbooks. And I guess one of the other little criteria that I'm making for myself now is I'm going to just make a rule, uh, you, you know, I have to do something on every page and if there's, you know, a list or, you know, what, whatever this stuff is, maybe it's interesting and I'll keep it visible, maybe it's not, draw into it, draw over it, but draw something on this, draw something on this. There's the, there's the text on here and there's also, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's, you know, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of imagery showing through from the other side of the page, um, you know, some drawing. I think that might be a self-portrait that I did. That kind of looks like me, one of my cats in the background. I'm pretty sure that's me, but it's not a good drawing. I know that, but whatever. Um, and, and so, yeah, I want to kind of just go through this whole thing and fill every single page and draw into, draw around, draw over. Um, you know, some days I'm feeling more inspired than others. This is probably a sketch I did again bored in a meeting. Um, there's a lot of pictures of people sitting at tables, pictures of people with the backs of their heads, um, you know, because I'm always just drawing when I should be paying attention. And I think that's really about all that's in this one. So, you know, this is a nice empty sketchbook. Uh, and I haven't been doing my sketches in a, in a while. A couple years ago, I was, I was just really, really, you know, on top of things. Well, it's not being on top of things. It's just more, um, I was just into it, I guess. And I, and I like where I am when I'm, when I'm in the zone, you know, where I'm, where I'm in here kind of just working on this stuff. Um, before I sign off, because I think I'm running about uh, out of things to show you on this one, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just take you into, um, say hi to Kinley. I'm going to take you into another room and, and show you the stuff I was doing a few years ago. Apologies for the darkness here. There we go. Another co-host. That's Beverly. Looks like I woke her up. She wasn't expecting uh, anything. So here's one of my closets that I um, cleaned up the other day. And, and, and th these are some of the sketchbook drawings that I was telling you guys. I, I took them out of, of my sketchbooks and tried to turn them into objects, into art. And I just, you know, was never completely satisfied. Sorry, I'm wiping my feet off here. There's dirty floor in there. Um, you know, I just, I just never was completely satisfied. I thought I had a cool idea, but it just never really materialized uh, in, into something that, that I thought was worth doing anything with other than just sticking on a shelf in my closet, which is what I did. Um, but, I, you know, I love the feel of these. This is a, this is a, a sketch or, I mean, a, a doodle or whatever, automatic drawing. 
Um, I, I just dunked it, I just dipped it in a, um, the, what do I have? A, a griddle or whatever, I can't think what the word is right now, but my, my encaustic medium. Skillet, skillet, that's the word. I have a skillet full of the encaustic medium and, and literally what I do is I take it, push it in like this and then kind of with a pair of tweezers or something, pull it up out the other side and hold it and allow the, the, the wax to drip off of it, kind of squiggle it around for a minute and it, it cools very, very quickly. Uh, and then I get this really nice, I, um, you know, smooth kind of skin-like waxy feeling. Uh, it's something that I like about what happens when I put the uh, encaustic on there. That might be a little bit too much. That, that's, you can see it, it becomes translucent. You, you know, it's, it's like whatever's on the other side shows through and that's one of the things I love about using encaustic with with collage is is the way that it you know creates translucency and I got these ideas like oh, okay well I'm gonna paint into them with oil paint let me go do it this way and all I did was overwork them you know I took something that was fresh uh, and I made a mess out of it and then of course I just kept trying and trying and trying to make it into less of a mess um, and you know some of these are cool. I, I mean, you, you know, you, you look. This is something I drew probably three or four years ago, and it sure does look similar to uh, you know one of the sketches that uh, that's in the the sketchbook I showed you just now. But you see the swirls and the spirals, the decorative elements, the organic. They just you, you know spirals and swirls and the golden mean and the Fibonacci sequence. Wow, that looks a lot like one of the ones in that sketchbook. Scary, you know. Fibonacci sequence, golden mean. I love that stuff. I was probably thinking about that this day. Um, and, you know, I thought, well, how can I display these? And I had this brilliant idea to sew them onto dowel rods and find some way to hang them. And I don't know if I'd kept trying, maybe I would have found something, you know, these, these are just kind of not complete. I did like the idea of sewing drawings or, or paper. Um, I, I really like that and I'm not completely abandoning this, but, um, I, I just feel like in a, in a way I, um, I, I kind of violated what the whole point of the sketchbook was supposed to be, you know, like t taking the personal and then somehow doing something very contrived and, and artificial to it uh, to, to, to make it public, you know, trying to make it look better. And, and in my opinion, I just made it look worse. You know, I, 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 I drew this with a very free spirit, open mind. And uh, when I painted into it, I was being very con controlled and, you know, conscious of what I was doing. And I kind of, I kind of screwed it up. So, uh, you know, I, there, there's something I love about these and there's something I hate about them and I have kind of had them boxed away for a couple of years. I just couldn't bear to look at them um, because I felt bad about it not going anywhere. But, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't mean it necessarily didn't go anywhere. Uh, it just means it had to take a break for a few years. And, you know, the, the longer I'm an artist, the more I, I realize that sometimes those, those, those breaks, those little hiatuses, um, actually are a good thing. It's not a failure just because, you know, you walked away from something. You don't know it yet, but you'll, you just very, very well may pick it up in, in three or four years or more, 10 years, 20 years. So anyway, um, you know, you, you can see that I, you, you know, the stuff I draw hasn't, it, it, it changes from day to day just kind of depending on my mood. It's kind of always the same thing in a different style, really. Um, and I don't know, I'm gonna do something with these or not, but, uh, but I, I just think taking them out of the sketchbook and trying to turn them into precious objects was, was a mistake. I'm, I'm thinking that maybe using, um, you know, photography, uh, animation, film, something like that might do these a little bit more justice. Uh, and then I can keep the, uh, the sketchbook intact and I can have kind of like a, a constant documentation of, of, of what I've got. Um, and so that's kind of where my mind is right now. Uh, and I am sharing this with you for no reason other than I felt like if I didn't uh, record this, I'd completely forget about it. And I think it's an idea worth 
hanging on to. So uh, anyhow, uh, that's all I have for now. Um, if anything happens with this project, I will let you know. Um, say goodbye to a couple more of my co-hosts here. Look at that. Slept right through the whole thing. What do you What do you know? What do you know? Okay, but anyway, here's my here's my living room. Here, I'll say I'll get in the mirror and say goodbye. Bye. Talk to you later.